Yep, you betcha. It's convertible weather. And I've uh, appropriately planned. You can't see it, but it's lit up. It's my Bosch heated jacket, not sponsored. I paid for this on Amazon, like 200 bucks. But uh, we've got like uh, 30 mile an hour crosswinds and snow. And I got a driveway to plow. Let's do it. But waiting for this. All right, snow plowing is all about traction. Here I have these stanchion bases, you know, when you're not allowed to go across those uh, stanchions. They're, they're like crowd control measures. They've got these heavy bases so they don't fall over. Got about 20 of them in the car so I can get traction onto the snow chains and hopefully push some snow. A top would be nice, but we don't have one of those. Let's do it. Yeah, it's not doing so well. All right, we dug in a little bit here. <laughs> Let's do this again. Back there. See? By the garage door? Yeah. I mean, it's not the biggest property, and I, I don't know if I certify this as a commercial rig, but we're doing all right. Felt like we were making good progress there for a second. Oh yeah, I lost my chain, didn't I? When I was a kid, kids used to walk around with shovels being like, yeah, can I clean your driveway? That doesn't happen anymore. Where's reverse? Come on, baby.
little drifto action. chains I need these I need more weight on the back My predicament does not appear to be improving. That's the jacking point. Don't know what it is, but it's going up. No, that's a little optimistic on that one. This is stuff when you get close to the street here. That poses the largest problem. But I feel like once we get past that, it's clear plowing, I'm telling you. Personal training tip number three. Just go out with a shovel and hit that driveway when it snows. Save yourself a trip to the gym. See, that car is not very good in the snow. I don't know what he's doing out here. Reliable. I should have reliable written on my Miata. All right, so where we stand, I'm abandoning the chains. I'm going to see if summer tires and studs work. And since I don't have studs, look at that guy's no good in the snow, rain either. Snow. I'm going to use these big wood screws. Extra grip. You could probably reuse these screws when you're done too. It was pretty successful. that Mercedes and we'll start going lengthwise. I ain't even gonna lie. I think I spit out my screws. <laughs> All right, so I think it's time to drag this thing inside and uh, do the old shovel method. We gave it the old college try. We found the weakness in the design is all tires. I just didn't want to spend money on snow tires for the stupid thing. But we'll get some snow tires, maybe some studded snow tires, and we'll give this another roll when it snows next time. 
Thank you for watching. I tried. Uh, now I gotta get this inside. See you soon. So you can't say it was useless. It's pretty much the net result. As long as we're going straight, we're all right. I didn't get to do that part. But, such is life. Now I gotta find all those fucking screws. Um, the traction was definitely the limiting factor. And then this isn't looking so hot. It's starting to lift out of the hood there. But that's when you hit a snow mound and try to raise the plow. Just, uh, yeah. Give it the old college try. You can hear the air pouring out of the tires. So they will be flat tomorrow, but it doesn't really matter. We, we need a new tire solution for this baby anyway. Think studded snow tires, I'm calling Michelin. Yeah, that was a plug, but it's not paid. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.